Hey guys, uh, I thought I would just show off this little creature display that I have. Um, let's see, you know, I've got my little alien display up where I've got my, uh, you know, favorite aliens that I own. I own a ton of them. Um, I have a whole giant three foot long box of those are just the one fourth sized ones and then i've got a whole nother uh three foot long box of alien you know that's everybody from NECA to hot toys to kenner to hasbro to whatever whoever haya toys everybody that makes them um but yeah, um, anyway, uh, let's see, little NECA, that's the Giger's alien, uh, Giger's version of it where it's semi-transparent, translucent, the one-fourth scale, uh, 40th anniversary, I love, that's my favorite alien that I own. That thing's huge. It's like two feet tall. Um, the uh, Mafex um, alien. The Kotobukiya uh, little vinyl statue. And a um, another NECA. This is the 7 inch uh, 40th anniversary one. But I started this that I, w I wanted to show my little creature from the black lagoon display that i have so this is by no means all the creatures i own obviously there's a whole <laughs> three foot long tub filled with universal monsters i don't know there's my tall creature in the background but um these are just the ones that i wanted to display and um yeah so i'll go over it so that is the burger king um fast food premium i painted it thought it turned out pretty nice that is the new uh that's the jada toys the jada toys figure that is an awesome creature from Black Lagoon, sculpted by my buddy Gene St. Jean for Diamond Select Toys. That is still what I believe to be the nicest creature action figure ever made. And we'll have to see how the NECA one does against it when it comes out, but as of now, that's the gold standard. Um, there's the old Sideshow, was like eight inch. Um, Gilman. Here's the uh, Migo Gilman. Nice sculpt on the head. Um, and this one, that's the uh, Mezco creature, where he looks, um, you know, cartoony, but still very, very cool. Look at his face. Very cool. Um, back there, that is the Mondo 1-6 scale, the, uh, what is it, like 13 inch tall um, Mondo one. I, uh, I glossed him up. Looks like he just stepped out of the lagoon. Um, this one is my favorite creature from the Black Lagoon that I own. Um, this is the Horizon model, um, vinyl model from way back, like it's like 30 years old now. Uh, I repainted it though. I love the, the way the paint job turned out. Turned out very, very cool. And you know, there's a couple that I couldn't put in this display, like the, uh, the big giant Sakuda model. I have that one. Uh, that's too big to fit in this little thing. 
and I have a one-fourth scale uh, resin creature sculpted by um, what's his name the creature kid he calls himself I can't think of his name right now but it's a nice piece too but they're just they're way too big to fit in here um, that is the one six scale sideshow uh, that's the uh, 12 inch one um, that's the 8 inch one by sideshow and that's the 12 inch one by sideshow still a really nice figure um, and that is, let's see, who the hell made that one? Mobius. It's a plastic model. Mobius. I think that's the company. I put that together and I built it and painted it. So that's my little creature display that I have in my little monster room. It's just enough of them so that I can look over at it and go, man, that looks cool. Because you guys all know my three favorite monsters are the creature, the alien, and Gojira. That's the holy trinity of monsters. Godzilla and the Creature from the Black Lagoon both came out in 1954. And Giger's Nightmare came out in 1979. Um, but yeah, lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff. Is that a Rodan, John? You're damn right, that's a Rodan. And uh, there's a box in the back over there which has my um, Shogun Warrior Godzilla and my Shogun Warriors uh, Great Mazinga. And I'll have to, I'll have to get those out and do a video. I think everybody would probably like to see those. But um, yeah. Kinds of goodies. Okay. Hi, handsome. 